Hey guys, it's Commander Video here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing John Doyle versus Baxter. So let's get into this. So we'll start in California, where I think Baxter is easily going to California. You know, he's going to be getting huge Hispanic support and huge Asian support with Jeff's endorsement. Because Jeff is done with the Republicans nominating these populist candidates because he's a rhino from Orange County, obviously. So he's going to be endorsing Baxter's protest. And obviously Alaska goes red and Hawaii goes blue. Populist candidates don't do well with Asians at all. And in Oregon, obviously with Blue Voyagers, fiery rallies, you know, suppressing Red Voyagers endorsement and suppressing the Republican vote with Antifa, obviously Oregon going blue. And obviously Washington with, you know, Posty's endorsement making that state go blue because Posty loves every single Democrat and loves Backstar. And then Arizona, you know, John Doe is going to struggle with the Rhinos, but, you know, with Lalo's fiery rallies with John McCain in Arizona, it's going to really help John Doe get, the, get all, all the Rhinos out to vote in Arizona so get them to win the state. And obviously with God Emperor Trump and Ben Shapiro also scratching in Arizona, it's also going to make that state go red. And then obviously Nevada, you know, DX Deity is going to be spending billions of dollars for, in those prostitutes for John Doyle to get him out to vote. in huge numbers in Las Vegas to make that state go red um, easily for John Doyle. And then obviously Utah obviously going for some Mormon guy, you know, Thou is done with the Republicans nominating these these populist candidates, you know, because it's unreasonable. So obviously Thou's going to march out and nominate um, some Mormon guy and, you know, endorse him and and then do, come out huge for him. Um, and that's going to make Utah go for some Mormon guy. And then obviously New Mexico going blue, you know, because Vincent James told us demographic changes. He warned us and we didn't listen. And now New Mexico safe blue. And then Colorado, same thing. It's safe blue. Weed's a big issue there. Baxter knows how to play into that issue. John Doe really doesn't know how to. So Baxter easily wins Colorado. And then the rest of these farm states, they're going to go red because John Doe is going to hammer Baxter on the Green New Deal, how bad it is for farmers. And then Texas also goes red, you know, with my endorsement. I endorse John Doyle. My fiery rallies with John Doyle make Texas go red. But it's going to be very close, you know, because Baxter is is going to get Michael Bloomberg to spend billions of dollars in ads in Texas and obviously Beto endorsing Baxter. I'm talking about how, why the hell are people buying guns in his fire rallies and t saying that Beto needs to feed people avocados, which are really shits that he did with his wife because it's unreasonable. So Baxter is Texas is going to be close, you know, because Beto and Michael Bloomberg, but it's but it's still going to go. It's still going to go red. And then the rest of the South, obviously going red, you know, you, you know, obviously the Republicans are racist, they're bullshit, they're unreasonable, suppressing the black vote in all these states. That's where they're going red. And then Georgia obviously goes red because Allen's endorsement, keeping the suburbs red. Um, and then obviously Florida, it Florida, it it's gonna go to Baxter because Xenox is an elite team of hackers. They're gonna be go be be going against John Doyle. Um, you know, threatening to nuke his server because they don't like him at all. So Xenox is an elite team of hackers. They're gonna come out and endorse Baxter instead of John Doyle because they're against his Discord server. They're gonna try to nuke it. Um, and obviously Trump, you know, it's gonna come out for Baxter too because you know Jared Kushner is gonna convince Trump to come out for Baxter. And the only person in Florida that's going to be coming out for John Doe is going to be Sex Laptop, but it's not going to be enough to carry the state. Um, so Florida goes for Backstar, and then obviously D.C. goes for Backstar, Maryland goes for Backstar, with LTE getting huge K-pop turnout in Maryland for Backstar. Obviously North Carolina goes for Backstar, getting huge black support in Backstar. Um, talking about healthcare, how bad Tom Tillis is. Um, but, you know, John Doe is going to get Farway's endorsement, and Farway's going to try his best to suppress the black vote and, you know, get Tom Tillis to get out. Huge white support f for John Doe, but it's not going to be enough. Baxter still wins North Carolina. It's his home state, so he's going to have an advantage there. And then Virginia goes red. Obviously, Northern Virginia comes out huge for Baxter against John Doe because he's a populist. Populists don't do well in Northern Virginia at all. And then West Virginia, you know, Baxter is going to get Fletcher scared and, and force Fletcher to endorse him or else face certain death. Um, so obviously Fletcher and BTD are going to be doing fiery rallies in West Virginia, making that state go for Baxter. And then Delaware obviously is going to go for Baxter. You know, Kevin B. Ryan with Biden now and endorsing every single Democrat because he's done with Republicans. He doesn't care if they're populist or not anymore. Kevin's just too black to to endorse any Republicans anymore. He doesn't have any hope for the country anymore, so he's going to endorse Baxter and get, give Delaware to Baxter. You know, Kevin and Finnegan doing fiery naked rallies in Delaware. And then obviously Ohio going red, you know, Dylan Wiley, White Stained Glass, suppressing the black vote, doing fiery racist rallies, suppressing Nina Turner's endorsement in Ohio, making that state go red. And then Indiana going red easily. 
Illinois going blue, obviously. Nathan's not going to get his act together. Um, and, you know, Baxter's going to be getting huge black support in Chicago, making that state go blue. And then Michigan obviously goes red. It's John Doyle's home state. It's Red Eagle's home state. So Red Eagle and John Doyle are going to be doing fiery rallies in Michigan. Um, you know, Kathy Zoo's going to be there. Patriot's going to be there talking about those egg jobs. John Doyle's going to be talking about how important the egg jobs are for Michigan. How we need to bring them back to Michigan. How, you know, China's bad and, you know, you vote for John Doyle in Michigan. And, and since it's a home state, he's going to have an advantage there. And then obviously Minnesota goes red, you know, right-wing radicals endorsing for John Doyle and him suppressing the black vote and Elon Omar's endorsement in Minnesota. It's also a weird state, so I wouldn't expect, I would expect John Doyle to win the state in Minnesota. And then Wisconsin goes red, you know, Joe Biden's going to be saying Baxter ain't black and so he ain't getting my endorsement. That's what Joe Biden's going to say. And BJ Blitz is going to, is going to pretty much agree with Joe Biden, what, what he said, um, you know, because he's a Biden simp and obviously it's going to help John Doyle with red. Eagles. fiery rallies is going to make Wisconsin go red. And then New Jersey goes for Baxter, Connecticut goes for Baxter. Um, again, Pennsylvania is going to go for Baxter because, you know, Fletcher, again, got scared and obviously it's forced to endorse Baxter because Baxter, you know, got is going to make Fletcher very scared um, and try to get Western Pennsylvania out for Baxter. But John Doyle is still going to be doing well in Western Pennsylvania. It's just that Mike's going to be, you know, doing fiery rallies for Baxter in the suburbs, trying to keep the suburbs blue in Pennsylvania. And it is it is going to work, keep Pennsylvania blue. And then obviously New York. Goes for Baxter, you know, Kevin B. riding with Biden. Um, Baxter is going to get Fish endorsement, Fish's endorsement, talking about those Yappa mess jobs, how they're super important for New York. And obviously getting AOC's endorsement. And obviously Kevin and Fagan and AOC are going to be having three sumps in New York City doing fiery naked rallies, having three sumps in New York City. And Fish is going to be there too. And then Rhode Island and Massachusetts go for John Doyle because, you know, Matt Gagan and B. It's going to be coming out with the gagging and UBI and his fat army for John Doyle. Um, you know, giving John Doyle the much needed money for him to run his campaign. You know, because the establishment's not going to be giving John Doyle a lot of money. So, with the gagging and UBI, it's going to be helping John Doyle very much to, to you know, stay, stay equal with Baxter in terms of campaign funds and donations. So, that's going to make, um, you know, those states go red. And then the rest of these states in the Northeast with Styx's endorsement in Vermont make that state go red. And he's easily going to win New Hampshire and Maine. So, our final map has John Doyle winning with 272 electoral votes to Baxter's 260 to so some Mormon guy 6. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave video requests in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Some Mormon guy gaming out.